Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man. Thursday evening, getting ready to make some soap. Okay, what I want to do this time is use five different colors and I'm going to do each one, hopefully, just a smooth, flat layer. Using this mold, this is my standard mold, I'm just going to each a layer, a layer, a layer, and I have five different colors. In this one, I'm using ultramarine violet, which is hopefully going to be somewhat purple, a hot pink, Caribbean blue, white, and yellow. We'll pour in that order. I'm also using two different scent oils. In the two darker colors, the, the purple and the blue, I'm using, um, it's called Island Escape. Smells great. It only perform, it only produces mild acceleration, which I can work with because I don't want a super thin trace anyway. It does darken just a little bit, so that's why I'm doing it in the darker colors. And the three lighter colors, the pink, white, and yellow, I'm using apple sage because it performed beautifully. No acceleration, um, no discoloration, and both of those scents hold their scent very well. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my usual procedure, get a light emulsification, uh, divide it in, split it into, divide it into uh, five containers, get my colors in, put my scent in and start pouring. I'll post the recipe below. I'm doing something different today. Um, I'm using, instead of olive oil, I'm using um, canola oil. The reason being, I, the supplies that I can buy locally, I like to buy locally and support local businesses. Um, I buy my lye from a local hardware store where I used to work about 25 years ago, and it's just a local hardware store. I buy my olive oil, coconut oil, and castor oil from local grocery stores. Well, I've not been able to find just plain olive oil. I can always find the extra virgin. People like that to consume because it's healthier. An extra virgin olive oil will work just fine on your soap, but it's a lot darker, and it'll darken your soap. So I'm going to go ahead and try using excuse me using canola oil instead. Canola oil is a lot less expensive. It's a lot lighter oil. I'm going to see how it performs. I did make a small sample of 100% canola oil soap. You see, this has no color, no scent whatsoever. I've used one of them. It performs, you know, somewhat kind of the way you expected. Probably better than 100% um, olive oil. But there, it's a light soap. Um, after four weeks, it's a very hard bar. So we're going to see. I might start replacing that with the olive oil instead. We'll see. Anyway, here we go. Let's make some soap. Light emulsification to start, just barely emulsified, very thin trace. Alright, here we go. floating oils. That's good to start. I can always stick blend just a little bit when I put the colors in if I need to. But only if I need. Alright, let's get this. Split five ways.
this out. Put her aside. All right, let's get my colors in. Line these up the way I'm going to pour them. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. One, two. Pink, purple, blue. This is going to go in the fourth. Because I'm always going to mix lightest to darkest to have minimal cleaning in between. I don't think I'm going to have to stick blend. I think I've got just, I think I have it just right. Yellow next. darkest. The blue. Now this Caribbean blue really gets dark and I want to be careful with it because I want a somewhat light blue. So I'm just going to pour about half and see what it does. That's about as dark as I want it. Maybe a tad darker. But that's alright. There, the tie dots brought it up just enough. That's what I'm looking for. Good. And my the violet, which actually I want sort of a dark. I want it more purple than violet. So, try and get some extra out of this. Soap batter staying nice and thin. I'm soaking right around 100 degrees. Yep, we're staying very nice and thin. Good. All right, I'm going to put the Island Escape in the purple, about half of it. That's good. Stir it in carefully. It is known to accelerate trace just a little bit, but it's very minimal. And actually this one, I could stand to have it a little bit thicker because this is going to be the bottom layer, but it's holding up beautifully. Holding up wonderfully. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. Let me get you into the picture. nice. It's starting to thicken a little and that's good. Now I know I'm going to have a little soap left over so I'm going to go ahead. I, it's more than this mold will hold. So I'm going to leave some to go into my muffin mold. All right this is the pink the next layer and I'm using the apple sage because it behaves well and doesn't discolor. So I'm going to put about a third into it. Stir it in. Staying nice and fluid. Okay. 
ahead and take a spoon so I can very gently pull. Yeah, that's settled. That's set up good. That, I want that bottom one somewhat firm. So I'm going to kind of get my spoon down in there so it disperses a little bit better. Slowly pour it on top, hopefully not breaking through. a little bit of that because I know I have more than I need. Alright, next is going to be the blue, still nice and thin. I'm going to pour the rest of my Island Escape. Knowing that it accelerates, that's alright. Stir it in. I think some of the purple did break through because I see a little tiny bit of purple there. Can you see that? But, oh yeah, what do you want to do? Okay. So, pour this slow, slow with my spoon. and it's piercing through. So you know what I'm gonna do? Not working like I want it. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and get this on. And end up doing a swirl after all. Always have a backup. You've heard me say it a million times. All right, pour a third into the white. Stir it in. Clean up my spoon. Pour the majority of it on. Now it's sitting right on top. Look at that. Look at that. My yellow, pour the rest of my scent in. Stir it in. Pour it on top. It is going right on through. This yellow is wonderful by itself, but with this, it's almost going to disappear in this white. Um, I don't know what's to deal with it. Anyway, I'm going to take my hanger swirl. Go ahead and swirl this. Yep, that's way too thin. So, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and take, that one's too thick, that one is just right. I'm going to go ahead and get some of these on the top to put a nice top on it. Yep, the ones with the accelerating trucks kind of thickened up. Although, that breaks up with the whisk. That blue breaks up just fine. Alright, I'm not even going... Let me see if I can break this purple up some with it. Yep, it does. Yep, even the purple breaks up.
So just getting kind of sloppy with the top, intentionally being sloppy. And the thin yellow. Just through the top. Then I'm going to take my thermometer and put my usual top on it. There we go. Now, the rest of these call. I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. We've got a few minutes to play because that's staying nice and thin. So, let's get my muffin mold and let's get these remaining soaps into it so this batter won't go to waste. So even the island escape that does somewhat thicken up, uh, it's minimal. The, the acceleration is minimal and when you, you can take a whisk and break it up and still work with it. Because yep, here the purple has that in it, and it's starting to thicken. But I just broke it up with the with the spatula, and it turned just fine. So I'm going to get four extra muffin soaps to be able to give out. I'm going to set those down a little bit. Spray those with alcohol to prevent soda ash. Nice and thin, thin still. Really happy with this. Now, let's get you over here in front of the main soap. It's real nice. Still very thin top. Nice and colorful. So, here we go, folks. What I'll do, I'm going to go ahead and shut us down here in just a minute. Really nice, vibrant top, plus four unique muffin molds. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to wrap. Let it sit for just a few more minutes to harden a little bit longer. And wrap it up and put it to bed. Hopefully get a good hot gel phase. And I'll see you in a day or two for the cutting. And thanks for watching.